President Bola Ahmed Tinumbo has instructed for all land borders in Nigerians to be declared open. Hello everyone, welcome to Newsport TV. Ashwa Jibola Metinumbo, the president of Nigeria, in just a week since swearing in as the current president, has instructed for all land borders in Nigeria to be open. Land borders are very crucial ways of trade and commerce in any country, Nigeria inclusive. For some time or during the president, ex-president Muhammad Buhari's reign, there's been closure of border giving reasons that he wants to ensure the growth of local industries in Nigeria and that by closing borders, it will increase internal capacity. Before President Buhari took over, one of the most staple food in Nigeria is rice. The bag of rice was going for about eight to 10,000 Naira. But at the exit of ex-president Muhammad Buhari, the current market price of a bag of rice is 50,000 Naira. Now, that's one of the well, not too good size of President Buhari that people still talk about because the prices of everything just skyrocketed with, you know, little or nothing to really do about it to reduce the suffering of the people. The borders in northern Nigeria were always known to have been open, you know, and which people discussed to say that, you know, despite all the security issues and everything, it was never deemed fit for it to be closed up. But a lot of other borders in South West were, you know, left short. And with this directive, there's been um, response from um, the immigration saying that some borders were opened before now. And that it's not just new with the videos circulating online of the opening of some borders and all of that. Now, the truth of the matter is that Nigeria is in dear need of clear concise and honest leadership that would take us from the mess we found ourselves, especially in the last eight years, to another regime or administration that will be ready to take some tough decisions for the betterment of the society. A lot of buying and selling has been affected because even the local industries, in this case, let's say agriculture, has been badly affected in the last eight years. In a time when um, on the entry of ex-president Muhammad Dubari, a lot of youths were showing interest in agriculture and all of that. Um, but recently, in the last few years, because especially of um, kidnapping and banditry and all of that, you know, people had to run away from their farms to save their dear lives, which of course has led to huge losses and um, um, inflation in the prices of food items. And everybody can tell that a country as Nigeria that is so blessed with fertile land, good seasons and weather and all of that. But, of course, to save one's life, to avoid being kidnapped and asked for ransom, people would act to, you know, find something else doing. And once agriculture is not properly taken care of, of course, every other thing will be affected. Now, with this declaration, the customer said that it is not a new thing. Um, that, you know, the borders are open and all of that. So, this speculation, you know, from days ago that Ashwaji will open um, the border and has lifted the ban on the borders between Nigeria and the neighboring countries. It received reactions from many Nigerians online as some citizens pray that God will touch the mind of President Denumbu to make sure this is carried to the last letter. Many citizens, both learned and illiterate, believe that the decision by former President Muhammad Buhari to close the Nigerian borders was a major setback for the administration as it was closely related to the hike in prices of food in the country. Nigeria, with a hopping population of 200 million, highly depends on farm produces and most staple foods from neighboring countries. However, the insurgencies, leakages in internally generated revenue and the drive to promote locally made products were among the reasons that convinced former President Muhammad Buhari to close the border. Although people are still saying that, you know, until they are all officially open because of the kind of distrust that Nigerians have about anything that has to do with governments, you know, saying something and doing something else. But they believe that once the ban on Nigerian borders are lifted, um, that will be the round table that will take a front role in 
expected development. You know, so um, everybody's waiting to see the execution of this. And of course, maybe several weeks or months down the line, the effect will be felt by the common man on the streets. It has not been the best of times currently, uh, with people questioning President Bola Metinumbu's renewed hope slogan. And uh, But still taking a closer look to say, the man is just coming in, he's trying to feel the temperature, and he's trying to see how he can manage the inherited um, problems from the previous administration. It is not going to be a one-day thing to do a overhauling of Nigeria, but of course, every step we take must be calculated, must be people-centered, and must give hope and genuine hope to the common man in Nigeria who have totally, absolutely lost faith in trusting government or structures of government. What's your opinion on this? Kindly you drop your comments in the comment section below. Do you think... That if President Bola Ahmed Tinumbu succeeds in finally opening all the borders and, you know, making commercial activities come back to life, would it change the status quo of Nigeria and what effect would it have to boost our economy? And you drop your comments. See you in the next video. God bless Nigeria. Bye for now.